These are the faces of Eastern Ukraine's separatist leaders, as they would rather not be portrayed. Donetsk artist Sergei Zakharov is putting the finishing touches to his latest show. The caricatures are on a European tour to draw attention to the horror of life in separatist-held areas. As caricatures, they can be funny, but the point here is that they provoke not so much laughter as fear. They are presented as caricatures, but they embody danger and fear. Last year, Zakharov covertly posted similar caricatures around Donetsk, dodging gunmen to mock the separatist authorities. This image of former insurgent commander Igor Strelkov went viral online. Zakharov was dubbed the Banksy of Donetsk. His sketches document what happened next. Arrest detention in a dank basement, and then beatings which caused broken ribs. He says he was also subjected to mock executions. At first it was quite difficult to talk about it. I was overwhelmed by emotions. It was post-traumatic stress disorder. When a car drove by, it seemed it was coming for me. You realize these fears aren't based on anything, but still, it happens. That's what it was like for me. After being released, Zakharov came up with this. His caricatures have been transferred to a pack of oversized playing cards, with Russian President Vladimir Putin as the Joker. It's performance art that he staged in several cities. This show is in Prague. It's a clear analogy with the house which they have built on the territory of Ukraine, these artificial houses of cards, which are the two separatist republics. And I think the performance which takes place will, sooner or later, take place in reality. The exhibition showcases the Izolyatsia art group, of which Zakharov is a member. The cubes tell the personal stories of people forced to flee Donetsk. Video installations include revealing interviews with the separatists who occupied Izolyatsia's premises. But Zakharov cannot live without art. As he watches an earlier performance of the House of Cards, he says it'll be a long time before he can go home. But he also insists that one day he and his fellow artists will be free to return to Donetsk.